Okay, now we've got to start on this uh, layout here. Um, remember, we're, we're, uh, if we double tap inside the viewport, uh, the, view, the viewport becomes active, and I can tell it's active because uh, that blue boundary is uh, highlighted. If I double tap outside the viewport, now I'm in paper space. So uh, inside the viewport is called model space. Um, you typically don't want to work in model space through the viewport. And then double tapping outside the viewport, uh, I'm in paper space. So now if I do a pan, you can see the entire sheet of paper uh, moves. Or if I do a zoom, I'm zooming in paper space. All right, so I just want to add a few things to our drawing. Uh, I did send you guys an email with three drawing files. And um, let's just um, let's start with um, a graphic scale. And so I'd like you to open the drawing that's called scale1.dwg. And if you do that, you're going to see this. Uh, we want to put that in our drawing. So... Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is just highlight everything and and then um, use the control C command to copy all of that. Now we'll go back to our our drawing and now I'm going to say control V to paste it in here somewhere, okay? So right there, maybe, for now. Now just say OK here. When this dialog box comes up, just say OK. We're going to change a few things. I'll just say OK. Now let's zoom in on our scale. We've got this scale in the drawing. Um, and let's just change a few things. Uh, the fir first thing I want to change is this 1 inch equals, if I double tap on that 0, 0, 0, um, I have the opportunity to change that, and I'm going to change it to 60. So give that a try. Well, now it says 1 inch equals 60 feet. Now I want this 0 to stay 0. And by the way, each one of these represents an inch. So um, this one I'm going, to, I'm going to change to 60. So I think it's a single tap, actually. Uh, and I'm going to change this to 60. That one stays zero, like I said. This one will be 30. Uh, this one I'll make 60. And then this one will be 120. Okay, and so uh, that's great. That's the way it should look. Zero, 30, 60, 120. Down here it has to say 1 inch equals 60 feet, and this one has to say 60. Now, sometimes people get a little confused when we're working in paper space because now our units are inches. Um, and so one thing I just want to check is I want to do a distance command. DI, I'm always checking distances it seems like, but that's how we keep things right. So I'm going to choose my distance command here. And by the way, I know my endpoint object snap isn't on right now, so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to put that on for now. Okay, see that? So now my endpoint object snap will work. And see, I want to go from that endpoint all the way over to this one. And what should it be? It should be one, two, three inches, right? And you see how the, the measured distance is exactly three. Okay, and that's the way it should be. It, it says 120, or actually it would be, what, 180 feet. Um, but since it's in paper space, it's 3 inches. You see what I mean? 1 inch, 2 inches, 3 inches long. That's how big that will be when it's plotted. Okay, so now we have a graphic scale. Now let's do the same thing with our north arrow drawing. I'm going to, you guys should have access to that north 2 drawing. And it's just got a nice simple north arrow in here. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to highlight everything. Choose Control C for copy. 
and I'm going to go back to my drawing and control V to paste it. So control V and I can usually I try to keep my uh, north arrow and my graphic scale kind of nearby each other so someone can just quickly look and see. Um, now the the north arrow uh, can it doesn't have to be a particular size. Um, I might want to make it a little bit bigger for for example. So I might go up here and choose uh, not move um, scale. In the modify palette, there's a scale command, and then I'll just maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, and then I'll kind of move these things apart a little bit. Okay, so now we have a north arrow and a graphic scale. The third thing I'd like to insert is that Department of Administration stamp. Um, I sent you that drawing as well. So if we open that drawing, you're going to see this uh, approval stamp that the Wisconsin Department of Administration uh, wants on a drawing like this. And so um, this one I've played around with already prior to making this video. So I'm going to actually scale. When we put it in our drawing, it's going to be huge, and we're going to have to scale it down. So I'm just going to do the same thing one more time. Highlight everything here. Choose uh, or type Control C. Go back to my um, my drawing, and then Control V to paste. Now, like I said, this is huge. This is going to be huge. I'm just going to put it right there. And then I'll zoom out, and you see how big it is. It's much bigger than it should be. Well, I've had a little trouble scaling this and keeping this sim this um, symbol here to not uh, be messed up. So I'm, I'm just going to scale it twice. It turns out if I scale it twice, it seems to work. So I'm going to say scale here. And I'm going to scale the stamp. And I'll I'm right click to choose the objects to scale. Now I'm going to use this corner. Don't just pick anywhere. Use a corner of this thing so it doesn't fly off uh, or you know go away. And um, and then I'm going to type point one, just point one, and hopefully. Uh, that symbol doesn't change. I just scaled it down by a factor of 10. You see that symbol is still okay. So now I'm going to do that one more time. Exactly the same command. Scale. I'm picking the corner as my base point. And again, point 1. Okay. Now this should measure 3.8 inches from one corner to the other. So I'll do a distance command again, DI for distance. And I'm just going to measure from this corner to this corner. And it is 3.8 inches now. Okay, and now it's just a matter of putting it in the drawing. So I'm going to say move. And I'm going to pick this DOA stamp. And I'm probably going to put it down here in the lower right corner somewhere like that. Now I might move my uh, north arrow and graphic scale a little bit here and just sort of match them all up like that. Okay, so take a few minutes. See if you can uh, get those... Uh, three things into your drawing, the Department of uh, Administration stamp, um, the simple graphic scale, and the north arrow. Great.